once you know the shapes of the orbitals, then the next question has to do with the orientation of those orbitals. And the number of allowed orientations is equal to the number of m sub l possibilities. For example, an s orbital has the quantum number l equal to zero. And the only value of m sub l that's possible when l is zero is zero. So this is one number and that means s orbitals have one allowed orientation. Remember, an s orbital is spherical in shape. If you picture a perfect sphere, you can rotate that sphere any number of degrees you want. Those are all different orientations. But the number of allowed orientations is only one. If you compare that to a p orbital, we know that the p orbital has a dumbbell shape. And again, you could take this dumbbell shape and starting from this position, rotate it any number of degrees that you want. So it's an infinite number of orientations, but the number of allowed orientations is dependent on how many m sub l values you have. In this case, remember m sub l always goes from negative l up to zero up to positive l. So it's going to be negative one, zero, or positive one. So that gives you three allowed orientations. So the dumbbell shape, the three allowed orientations, match up with a three-dimensional coordinate system where you have an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. A d orbital, remember, looks like two p orbitals stuck together. L is 2. M sub L ranges from negative 2 through 0 up to positive 2, which gives you a total of five allowed orientations for the d orbitals. The f orbitals go from negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, all the way up through positive 3, which is a total of seven allowed orientations. So the number of allowed orientations is just the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, and 7. If you go up past an f orbital, orbitals then go in numerical, alphabetical order rather. So after f comes g, and for a g orbital, the pattern would hold, there would be nine allowed orientations. You can go to an h orbital and there will be 11 allowed orientations. For the elements on the periodic table, we only have to worry about s, p, d, and f. So we have 1, 3, 5, and 7 allowed orientations.